right, here we go. Let's see here. Find a card anywhere. All right, my name is John W. Johnston. I'm with United States Prophecy.com. That's www.unitedstatesprophecy.com. All right, or prophecy. Now, a lot of people, from what I'm finding out from my scribe, I have anywhere from 2,500 to 3,000 to 4,000 visitors a month on my website. And people are asking me, when am I going to go YouTube? I said, I don't know, unless God, you know, quickens it to me to go YouTube, I'll do it. Now, he's been quickening it to me, and let me tell you something. The resistance from Satan has been beyond imagination to get YouTube done. Um, some of it's stage fright or whatever you want to call it, but the resistance is beyond imagination. Now, what am I going to be talking about? You'll be able to hear me talking and, and, and emphasizing more on the prophetic words that I've given on my web page and to explain to you how they came about. Not only that, but the things we're going to be talking about for the year 2010 and what's coming for the year 2010. Um, and what lays ahead, what's coming. One of the things I want to talk about is the what God is already showing me for the year 2010, January, there's going to be another time acceleration for God is cutting the days short in righteousness for the elect's sake, for if the days had not been cut short, no flesh would have been saved. So if you're asking yourself, why is time moving so fast? Because, number one, Jesus is getting ready to return, and him being the light of the world and being pure light, according to Einstein, what happens when you get moving at the speed of light? What will time do? We're coming into that point in time in the world where we'll get moving so fast that time's going to come to a complete halt. The day's going to overtake the night. The night's going to overtake the day. This is what is happening. To you, the Christians, we're going to be talking about Wormwood, Dwarf Star, Planet X, that is making its first pass um, across the Earth this month, December, and how it's affecting all the weather patterns around the world. We're going to be talking about the time accelerations. We're going to be talking about Dwarf Star, Planet X, or Wormwood, the brown planet, and how that is going to play a big role in the end here. We're also going to be start talking about the false teachers in the church, how to recognize them, how uh, to tell when you've got false uh, teachers into your church. We're also going to be talking about how Satan and how to tell when his people have gotten into the leadership of the church. And one way I'll tell you real quick on this introduction, how to tell when Satan's gotten into your church, all the blood worship songs were, uh, pertaining to the deep, dark, rich blood of Jesus will be deleted out of all the worship songs. And this is how you can tell when the Satanists, the Illuminati, the Trilateral, and the rest of these uh, globalists, world globalists, that are taking over the church. Uh, we'll be talking about testimonies, people's testimonies on how God delivered them from all walks of life from drugs, alcohol, witchcraft, sexual abuse, all of these things and how God delivered them. Not only are we going to be talking about that, um, but how God is calling the remnant flock out of all the denominational churches to come out of the world church, the Babylonian church, um, this world religious system, and how you're going to have to come out of it. Now Jesus says in Revelation 18, Come out of her, my people, and do not participate in her plagues. God is saying in this hour, come out of this world church system and do not participate in the plagues that are hitting it and are going to hit it and wipe it out. So you need to be coming out, and we'll talk about that later. We'll be talking about Satanism, witchcraft, black magic, sorcery, divination in the school systems of the United States and how the uh, 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 Satanists have gotten into the school systems and, and how now they're focusing on a whole generation of young kids for their cell to worship the New World Order. It is a very clever satanic plot that started after World War II. We're going to be talking about the Four Horses of Revelation Chapter 6 and how they're on world patrol. These will be taken from my writings when I had the guest visitation from God and he told me how to write them down so I can bring these things to you. We're going to be talking about fallen angels. We're going to be talking about the New World Order. 
we will be talking about Noah, a lot about Noah. So this is the first YouTube, it's the introduction, you get to see who I am. I know now I'll be putting myself right up on the firing lines, um, on the front lines of God's army, which is okay. It's a good day to die, die to self that is. So anyway, I encourage each and every one of you, I hope this uh, series of YouTubes that I'm getting ready to do bless you, help you in any way, shape, or form. We're going to talk about there's still time, a little bit of time, but yet there is no time, but there is some time for a few stragglers to come in because the art door is getting ready to be shut on mankind and God's wrath and fire indignation is getting ready to be poured out. We're going to be talking about doctrine of demons in the church, uh, the religious uh, system in the church and how it's destroyed many of Christians and how um, in a lot of your seminaries, how the doctrine of demons have gotten into the seminaries and now these pastors have been indoctrinated with the doctrination of demons and now gone and taught it to the people in the past 40 years. Damnable heresies. So, the only thing I can do is add my uh, two cents in there and put my part in here uh, according to what God is quickening to me. Um, like I said, a lot of you want to know who I am and, and email me. Uh, my scribe, she takes care of the emails and a lot of times she replies. So, the only thing I can say is, until next time, this is Jack, signing off.